corrupted memory number seven was restored. Lena's Inception. Hmm, that's the name of the game. Elder, I'm here about your phone call earlier. Couldn't talk at the time, my boss was listening. Yes, yes, so do you have anything that will keep Lance safe for a few more years? I have here something that will change everything. It looks like one of those four powers. Did you recover the power of truth, son? I'm impressed. No, it's much more interesting than that. Eight Fridge has the weapon of unlimited potential, a genie that can grant any wish, as long as you can speak the language. You'll be better off taking your scam someplace else. Look around you, lad, I don't have much money. Good pitch, though, reminds me of... It's not a scam. Just watch, I've configured it to make me the most powerful being in the world. Oh, really? More powerful than the Heart Angel? Alza Frail, we're under attack. Get out of here. Come out and show yourself, coward. Okay, Archangel Lena. There you go. That's the twist. He was the Archangel this whole time. No. I won't let you hurt my students. And then she gets transformed, I guess, into just a normal human. I guess her students... He transformed. I guess, uh... Her students was the Archangels this whole time. You know, and, you know, in a, I guess, a cruel twist, we've been killing our own students this entire time. Uh, anyway. And also, that, I guess that's how uh, the Elder died, by the way. He got killed by Delvin. But we did see Delvin before, right? He was, like, in his human form. I guess he just goes back and forth whenever he wants. It can't be true. I can't be a monster. I'm not a bad. But I was. I've hurt people. I remember. It felt good. My pupils. My pupae. I killed them. There's no saving them now. And the chairman's coup is my doing. I have to be better. I have to fix this. Ring ring. You've done well to get this far, lads. Cut it out. I have the power of truth now. I know that's your voice, Delvin. Alright, I won't deceive you. You caused this mess. How many people have died because of your power envy? And on top of that, you had me kill my own students. First, I'm gonna th dethrone the chairman. I'll admit I made a heartless error using him. But I intend to put a stop to that now. He'll be at the pallet. After I defeat him, you and I are going to find a way to fix the glitches you've caused. Okay. Oh gosh, what happened to this place? Delvin, you have a lot to answer for. Everything's glitched. So I guess this is, uh... Glitch City? I can't go back, can I? Hmm. Yeah, this is just back, Glitch City. That's how it looks like normally, I guess, when you do that, when you use your glitch glasses. Uh, I wonder, can I, like, go back here? Well, that's the palace, so we have to find a way to the palace, I guess, if we want to fight the chairman and maybe, and then, like, you know, maybe fight Delvin later or something. I don't know. But I guess they, that's the story, I guess. You know, Delvin somehow found the power to glitch the world. This is like a video game world, is the idea. You know, instead of, instead of the laws of physics, it's the law of video game code, you know? And somehow he changes, he can change that and, I guess, warp reality. Kind of like the, sort of like the plot of the Matrix, I guess, sort of. Ah, trying to jump over that, but I couldn't, anyway. Mm. It's over here. Can I go inside there? Hammy's house, do not disturb. Uh, absolutely no explosions allowed. Well, time for explosion. <laughs> Stop! Did you just blow up my door? Are those bombs? I can see you're a gal who likes combustion, but if you ever find yourself in a spot where detonation just won't do, try a hammer. Ah, huh. okay. Bust open cracked rocks with sheer force. Huh. Okay. And all you have is a hammer, every problem can be solved by repeated hammering. Just, mm. 
I mean, sure. Let's try putting it here. Okay. Let me just destroy your rocks. Uh, Robux dedicated hammers. So there's an item I didn't get before. This is a freaking hammer. Uh, yeah. Try hammer. There you go. I wonder if it does damage. I guess it does damage. <laughs> this could just be my new weapon. Just a big hammer. Who needs a sword? Just use a giant hammer. Hmm. Now I wonder. Now, now can I do the? Okay, now I'm curious. I gotta go back, gotta go back cause I'm curious if I can do it. Go back here, back all the way to the guild. Now can I like use this giant hammer to destroy that rock? Maybe. Barely not enough. Barely not enough space. I can't really hit it diagonally. Oh, I did it! Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I, I, like, I jumped and then did it. Alright, there you go. Finally! I was trying to, like, get to this vault like a million times already. Now I get all of the money. Steal from the bank. Haha. <laughs> it's funny how, like, she said, you know, Leno said, like, oh, I should be better now. I should, like, help people. As she steals a bunch of money from the literal bank. This is a bank robbery. How'd you feel? How do you feel about that? Hmm. Well, it's all it's all mine now. Thanks. Thanks for the free money. Wee. Not that I need it, because what, what am I gonna use this money for anyway? <laughs> Like, the other merch- the traveling- the, there's like one traveling merchant that seems to be absent, and there's the other one that's like a bear, I guess, but... They don't seem all that useful. I don't know. I can double check what they have for offer. I can buy the... Hallucination tunic. I wonder what it does. I'm curious. Okay, it just- yeah, as- as I thought. It just drops a bunch of- enemies every time you enter a room I guess which in its own way might be useful because it drops bats might drop some extra health but not really all that useful <laughs> just spent like a thousand dollars on something useless really Lance's father Claymore had a huge sword he was awesome yeah. I guess that's why he's named Claymore all right where to now I still- I guess, yeah, if there's, only, if there's one thing- one other item I need, I still need the one that allows you to jump in those boxes? I never got that item yet. I don't know where I get that. Let's go over here, though. I have some more meteors. So maybe I can upgrade some items, maybe? Silver bow... Storm our bombs. Um... Hmm... Either, like, more... Like, better weapons, or, like more quantity wise you know i never use a shield but i guess i'll put on no why not silver bow it's a more damaging bow amazing there you go all right let's see where were we we were over here go back to glitch city so this was the city that was mentioned before i guess like that hammer hammer time I don't know if that penetrates the their armor. You would you would think it would. But I guess we need to go down, right? Where we should be going. We need to go down, 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 down. Oh, I didn't mean to. Okay, <laughs> I guess you could glitch world like that, you know, by appearing on the other side. An interesting way to, like, reach certain areas, maybe. Oh, okay, I don't know who you are. Why are you pulling your hair? Or, it looks like they're pulling their hair, but maybe they're not. 
Hello? A new customer! Nice to meet you! Please take this free sample! Yellow silk tunic. Huh. Room is more Mustafa can buy. New explosive. Probably won't find anywhere else. Probably. Let's see. Green silk? Brand new. I mean, I have a lot of money, but I can't buy everything. Um, try this. Cross bombs. Oh, it's like Bomberman. If you can find me three more times, I'll give you an especially rare reward. My mystical book tells me we'll next meet here. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I saw that before. I thought you just didn't... I wish I was so hard to transport these goods. Okay, so that's how it works. You have to find them in particular locations and then accounts. That's like a thing. Uh, I have cross bombs though. I don't know how useful that is, however. But yeah, the other location that I saw where the traveling merchant would have been, now they appear, I guess, and they go away after you talk to them. I haven't seen like a third location, however. I don't know if it was worth it to go to them right now. At least I don't remember a third location. Because I assume if you visit them three times, you get them. I guess, but I haven't seen the other location. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Potion. Um, I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> Where am I? Uh, actually, can we go down from there? Actually, it seems like that's the way to go. I go down from here. Oh, and you can maybe glitch through here. Oh, <laughs> glitch into the ocean. Oops. Nope. Stop glitching in the ocean. Okay. Now. We are in the right place. He's locked us out! What's going on? The prince would never have done this. I knew it was a bad idea to let the chairman take over. Can I just go in? No? Hmm. What is this? Slider Palace! No entry without invitation. Huh, I'm gonna collect some cross bombs there. No diving! Time to dive! Okay, I guess this is the way forward. Can I grab that? Well, it's just a normal shovel, I guess. Any side... Oh, is that, is that just a hole? Okay. For some reason, I thought maybe you could dig up bodies somehow, for some reason. Uh, maybe get some treasures. Do a little grave robbing, you know? I'm just gonna go. Uh, okay, this is a, literally a bath. Dive right in. Take a, take a quick, take a quick bath. Wee. Out of order. Okay. The power of well. Mm hmm. I assume, well, this is where technically where the prince should be, but he's in prison here, right? So... This is probably where Mammon is, right? Probably keeping the prince. Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> prince Daniel. Are you here to rescue me? Don't, not yet. I'm safer from the skeleton behind these bars. You'll need the blue key to stop the chairman. It's here in the jail, but the skeletons have built a wall to keep out heroes. No, it's a dead guy. Alright. I need a blue key, but... I don't know where it is. Where is it? I see a tunic there as well. But I need a blue key, so I can't really do that right now. So I have to go somewhere else, maybe? This seems like a big place. Uh... Get down here. I can't kill you if you're up there. Mm 
Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, might as well change back to bombs. You know, I, I want to try the... I actually want to try the cross bombs. Put them right there. What can do here? Despite appearances, this bookcase is empty. Oh, yes. Is this a uh, cave? No, it's just... It's just an item, I guess. Oh, there's no map. Slightly annoying. We only have, like, uh, you know, the overall map, which is not what I want. I want the... Oh, I can do that, Aha! Use the glitch classes to get to the other side. There's probably some very neat things you could do with that, actually. Like somehow, like, glitch the game, or like, speedrun it somehow. I don't know. Kind of order. Okay, we just made a big circle. Um, where else do we go? Anything this says? Statue is badly damaged, and the pla plaque cannot be read. No, that's too bad. Can I like grab it? No. I can destroy it. I didn't do anything though. Let's see. I already went to the right. How about if I go down? Oh, that's just back to the palace. Or back to the entrance of the palace. Uh, where's the soldiers or the guards or whatever? I don't know where they went. I opened the door, guys. I don't know where they went. Hmm. You know, this gets me thinking. How about if I... Yeah, there you go. Aha! I don't know if that's intentional, but it seems like an easy way to get here. Because otherwise I wouldn't be able to get there, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Is it like... Oh, is it like puzzle like this? And then, well, I can't really go anywhere from here though. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Have I been here before? Doesn't feel like it, but no, I think I have. I think I'm going in a circle again. <laughs> Order. Yep, yeah, we keep we keep going in the circle. It's a little confusing, this place. How about this? I can do something like this, right? Now I'm over here. Um I can be over here, but it doesn't do much. Now how about if I go over here? This leads over here. Locked by a couch. My mortal enemy, a sofa. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Uh, oh, I can go over here though. <laughs> it's the... It's the hero. He's just being buried, I guess. I don't know if I can do anything here, though. Seems like I'm just stuck there. Hmm. Oh. Weird. Okay, I got teleported somehow? Is that what it is? Okay, so sometimes if you glitch out into the area, you kind of just get teleported out of that. Okay. I could just walk here. That's kind of weird. Wait a minute, you can just walk like that? I didn't realize you could do that, actually. You can just walk like that? Um, not that it helps, because now I'm just stuck here. Okay. Oh, well, now I'm, now I'm stuck here. I don't know what's going on anymore. This is like a weird dungeon. Uh, that leads outside? Okay. Okay, that's the crypt that was locked by a blue key. Um, man, this is like really weird. I'm just like literally glitching the game. It's like part of the game as well to glitch it, but I'm also glitching, glitching it, you know? Hmm. 
twin monarchs Edgar and Allen as a vote of protection of all life as they were to each other. Edgar Allan Poe? Is that what it is? Here's the dead hero. That's Lance. None of this was supposed to happen. Weird. Hmm. Uh, what now, though? I mean, this is the crypt. That... Oh my god. I wish I had the map. Is it, I'm not really sure where to go now. It's here in the jail, uh, jail, but there's something a bit of wall to keep out heroes. So apparently it's here. Where is here though? Where is here? Like maybe I need to glitch. Oh, okay, so maybe why well, I didn't notice. I was kind of stuck all over doing everything else, but maybe I did. I should go here like that. I didn't realize. Maybe that goes over here. Now I can go over here. Get the blue key over here. Alright. I didn't even notice. I was wondering, like, how do I get past everything? I was doing all the glitching in the other areas. I didn't realize you were supposed to do it here. In the jail. Jail? Jail. Because when he said jail, I thought, like, his jail cell? And I thought it was, like, a bug or something? I thought, like, oh, there's supposed to be a key in your jail? I didn't see it. I don't see it jail because you know sell key or whatever so i assume maybe you have to come back another way but no he means the entire prison you know i didn't realize it god, god damn it so i spent like a big chunk of time actually going everywhere outside the jail cells not knowing where to go anyway what's this do fire resistance okay how about this strength tunic I assume you do more damage with it or something? I don't know. I'll keep the defense one. I prefer the red, actually. It, uh, complements her hair color. <laughs> over here, though. There's more to explore over here, I think, though. Maybe? No. I just got stuck there. So maybe not. Uh, what about over here? Can I go up there somehow? I see, like, a little thing there, but... Maybe not. Alright, so I guess we, we we gathered the key. I assume that's all we need, maybe? Hmm. Okay, so I have the key now. So maybe it'll be a lot easier... Oh, that's the wrong way. ...to know where I need to go. And alright, let's continue the uh, the castle dungeon. I've been stuck on this for quite a while, actually. Maybe an hour? I don't know. Um, but it's, uh... It's a fresh new day, so let's keep trying. I think I know what to do now. Sort of. I still don't know exactly where to go. But yeah, I've confirmed that, um... This dungeon is definitely... Uh... It's like, it's definitely... Pre-made, you know, it's not randomized unlike the other dungeons, so it's like It's a bigger challenge, I guess. Bit of a difficulty spike, if anything, actually Because, um, usually all the randomized dungeons, they only have like one thing, right? One, one thing per room, because the way it works It keeps the puzzle simple because, um, otherwise It wouldn't work without that being the case If the, you know, if the entire game is randomized and everything, but this dungeon, however is completely not randomized. So I'm not sure what to do. Or I wasn't sure for, for, what to do for the longest time. But, well... I think I know what to do now. Let's see. I think maybe go here? Mm, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I don't know if I'm right. I don't know if I'm right. Let's see. Uh, kill you, actually. I think you're supposed to kill all the monsters as well. So I can't leave the area, otherwise the monsters will re respawn, so... I gotta pay attention to that. Okay, that's just the couch again. Um, that's the problem, isn't it? Let's go over here, I guess. I, mean, I know how to do the whole like glitch glasses kind of thing, right? I know how to do that, but the hard part is 
everything else, you know? Uh, let's go over here, maybe. Go like this? Over here, like that? Go you? Oh, the chairman fired me for being bone idle, so let me help you out here. See those doors down there? You'll need to kill all the monsters on the screen for them to open. Look for the shadows left by the spiders. Okay, so that's what you need to do. For some reason, I never reached this screen. I don't know. It's still... Hmm, I don't know how you still do it. Like, I mean, I can use my bow, maybe? Oh, I can't do that, actually. I have to actually be on the same thing, but, um... Yeah, you're supposed to reach here, which I didn't know you were able to do. Okay, but now I know where to go, I think. I didn't realize that's where you needed to go in the first place. I didn't realize you could do that in the first place as well. But you're supposed to kill all the spiders there. Hmm. How am I gonna do that? I'm not sure. And obviously, I'm supposed to use the glitch glasses. If I glitch over here, I'm just gonna end up in the blue spot. So that's not what I want, right? So to somehow end up... ...in the other locations... ...in order to kill all the other spiders. That's gonna be hard. But I go like left? Like, I want to go left and somehow kill the spiders, I guess. What about this? Can I do something like this? I end up over here. Now I'm over here, but I can't reach the spiders from here. I still don't know if this is like part of the game. You know, the fact that you can glitch through into the void. No idea. Get out of here. I guess you go up there, maybe, somehow? In order to go down there? And if that's the case, maybe like this... Like this, and then go like over here... Go down... There's a big giant arrow, I guess, but... The big giant arrow doesn't really help me, I feel like. Let's see, you can go over here, but... I need to reach the right side. Uh, oh, can I kill those as well, somehow? Can't really glitch through here because I'll hit the blue teleporters again. Hmm. How do you get there? That's, that seems impossible, <laughs> unless you can shoot somehow. No, I can't shoot. Uh, uh, that seems impossible. Weird. Hmm. Let's go over here. Uh, can't reach that? Jump. Oh, I can jump, okay. I can jump over the gap and glitch through as well with the glasses. Okay. Now one why not one last one? Was it this one? Only this one? It seems like this is the only one left, right? Can't reach it though. And I can't glitch either. How would you do it? Use a bomb somehow maybe? Barely not touching it. Oh, this is hard. Um, like maybe glitch on the dark side over here on the abyss and somehow hit through the walls. But I can't do that because well, over here like that. I could do that, I could jump over there. Alright. That sort of worked. There you go. And now, can I go over here? Hmm. There's these cracks I didn't know that you could, like, hit. I've never seen these before. Was this, was this always a thing? I've never seen. I guess maybe use a bomb? Okay. So, was that ever a mechanic? I've never seen that mechanic my entire life. <laughs> At least in this game. Obviously, you've seen it in Zelda, uh, you know, but. In this game, anyway, I've never seen that be, be a mechanic before. Hmm. Okay, so there you go. Now hit myself. Good. Alright, so we open the way by killing those spiders. Again, I, I don't know if you're supposed to do this. I guess you are, because, you know, how, would, how else would you reach those spiders? Anyway. Hmm. Do something like this. 
Like this? So I need to head back, right? How do I... What I want to do is, uh, go back over there. I guess I have to go the other way. Oh. Oh, jump. Alright. So, like, over here, was it? can't remember where it was. Somewhere around here. This is, that's the couch again, right? Go over here. Uh, go over here. Over here. Am I good? Am I good? Okay, that's just a hint. To what we need to do, so we did that. Finally, it took a bit. <laughs> I didn't know how to go over here. And then you go over here, and now... I think you go up, and then you do this, right? Yeah. I mean, I know the final step of reaching here. I didn't know how to get there in the first place. The ladder wasn't very helpful because I didn't know where the other side of that ladder would be in the first place. So that was a little bit annoying, but there you go. Finally did it after a million hours. There you go. Now we can, like, continue forward. I ironically, we didn't even need the key because we can just go forward without the key now. Okay, put your king skeletons. Good. Die. Ow. They're just flailing their, like, swords at you. Or not really swords, or axes. Die. Hurry up and die, just, that's, just die. Okay. Stole my heart. Edgar and Allen. The reign of Edgar and Allen. Anything in these in these bookshelves? Necromancy for beginners? <laughs> Necromancy for dummies. Okay, it's a meal. This food is still warm. The chairman must be nearby. And they're just having a meal. The panic room, I oh, guess. So yeah, so we're fighting um, Hammond, right? The rich guy. It is recommended to save before perceiving. Sure, I'll save now. Hello. Oh, you arrived at last. I did everything you asked of me. Now it's time for my return on investment. I came here to stop you, not reward your sick power trip. What? But I did it all for you. If you really did it all for me, then I want you to go back to your bank and donate everything to charity. No, I already sunk too much capital into sinking this capital city. I at least bleed enough cash to cover my costs. You still have more wealth than anyone else in this land. Or this island, rather. Why would you even... What would you even do with more? You're refusing to pay up? That's a breach of contract. Ah, that makes me... Argh. Okay, capitalist pig. This is a little bit on the nose, for sure. Ganon, Mammon... Uh, that's, that's even more on the nose. Look at that. G's and M. You, you insolent startup. I will liquidate you. I'm too big to fail. I, mu I must be bought up by the government, you see. Alright. Eh, it doesn't do anything. Ow. Stole my money. I don't know what you do. Dead. Help. Oh, uh, okay. I'm uh, not sure what you do. Is there any way to glitch you somehow? As well? Hmm. Dead. I just got stunned, really. Do you use a bomb somehow? No. It's gonna knock down. Ah, okay. So you, you, you do the gold Ganon thing. Was it Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time? That uh, did the whole tennis thing? Or is, the, or is there any other Zelda games that did that the same thing? I don't know. 
I guess Zelda probably isn't the first one that did that kind of mechanic, I guess. Okay, I'm not doing it correctly though. Yep. Ah. I keep doing it too early, I guess. Or not too early, too late rather. Okay. Ah, because I, I keep getting hit, and then if I get hit, it gets cancelled, even though I hit it back. Yeah, damn. I don't know how that works at dashing. Okay. I gotta I'll probably have to hit him there. Dash. There. Oh, oh. Ah, that. If I get hit, you know, it, it cancels it. I gotta heal. Sure. Try this. I assume I don't need the glitch glasses right now. There's a blood potion. Oh, that's not right. It isn't doing. I don't think it does anything. That just makes me bloody, I guess. It's a, it's a fizzy green one. Undead. Does not help me. Okay. Ah, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Hit him once. All right. There you go. I'm stuck with the undead potion, though. I, only, I wanted to go away before I use any other potions that might heal or poison me. Otherwise, I don't know. Charge. Do this again? His weird, like, money ball, I guess? Using the power of money to attack, I guess. That's the idea. A lot of it's going to the abyss, though. It's just dropping on the ground. You done? The sequence is too long. I get the idea, you're shooting two at once. If you really want to kill me, just shoot three at once. Then I'll never be able to dodge it. Ah, damn, I got hit again. Every time, I'll do it again. All my items are useless, by the way. They don't do anything. Except maybe the bow. I guess I could shoot him while he's vulnerable. I save some time, I don't have to walk up to him, maybe. Charge, one, two, three, and it move. Ah, yeah. I thought I had a strategy for that. It seems like he, there's a delay, right? He just goes to where you were. As long as you keep moving, maybe it'll work out. Oh, still another phase. You would think it'd be three hits, but I guess not. Four hits. Dodge, dodge, dodge. No, this, this is like really easy. Just go to where you're. Ah, wow, how do you dodge that? <laughs> I, I, before, you just had to keep moving. You dead? No? More? Okay, how do, well, I was saying before, just hit three at once. I guess you have to jump, maybe? I'm trying to jump, not working. Jump through some of it, I guess. I gotta use the potions. Um, defense potion. What's the fizzy orange one? Is this one health? Slow. Oh my God. <laughs> None of these potions help. None of these potions help. Healing potion. Finally. Okay. There you go. This one's hard. I'm like, how do you dodge this? I'll say like hide, like hiding behind or hiding in between those bowls, or whatever. Doesn't seem to work though. There you go. Let me just put this on just in case I need it. And I don't know if it's a second phase. Second phase. Well, I guess that's it. He has a black heart. 
Eating the chairman's raw and hard permanently increases your disdain. <laughs> I don't know if that does anything. It's just disdain. Okay, and then we have the power of wealth. We've collected all the Triforces. So this game is like four pieces rather than three. I'm ready to end this, Lena. The question is, are you? Of course. Also, I guess the big main villain of this game is just some guy named Delvin. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, you would think he looked more villainous. But no, he's just some dude. There's only one way to fix the glitch. This story must come to an end. A true game over. Slide will restart beginning anew when the final challenge is overcome. And that's you. You are the final evil. The mother of Archangels. Archangel Delvin, <laughs> Egomania. It's just funny. It's like, oh. I am I am the destruction of the world. Delvin. I will kill you to put everything right. Ironic, considering you're like you're the you look pretty evil yourself. Delvin, I've died many times already to get here. Every time the glitch comes back, just as it was before. It's a persistent taint on our world, and there's only one way to remove it. I just need to blow the dust out. No. I will save everyone. Shut up and die. Okay, blow the dust. Is it cartridge? Eh, eh. I don't know what. Uh, bombs? Bombs? Hmm, okay, you can't throw those bombs, by the way. I didn't even know that. Have to use normal bombs, I imagine. Using the cross bombs. I mean, not? I don't know. Because I, I, we've seen that mechanic before with the things on the ground. Usually you throw bombs at that. Okay. Oh. You can hit him there. Okay, he's just tired. Alright. I thought he's, I'm doing something else. Attack. 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 No? Anything else? No? Hmm, he seems immortal. Okay, in that case, because usually it's like three hits, right? This is like way too many hits. Do I use the the powers of whatevers somehow? Hmm, equipment, power of compassion. I don't know what I want. That the power of compassion, I don't think we can use in this playthrough. I've already like, um, you know, screwed that up. So that won't be for this playthrough. I don't know, I guess just hit him? I gotta keep hitting him, I guess. Yeah. It is like weird tentacle things. As like the the boss music plays. That's the variation of the theme music of this game. Which is kinda catchy actually, I like it. Okay, now we're flying. Where are we gonna go? This can only end one way, Lena. Eh. Hmm. I like all. I like the other bosses, by the way. You can always just hit this guy whenever, I guess. Ow. Should have stocked up more on arrows, actually. In that case, if I if I knew that I needed more range attacks. Uh oh, Sonic! It's freaking Sonic. My god. I didn't know he could turn into Sonic. Even though I dodged it, I still got hit. Ow. Can I hit that back? No. Do 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 do. Out of bombs. It's my last bomb. Let's keep hitting him, I guess. I assume I get. Okay, okay, okay. I, I guess he just has a health bar, which we can't see. 
That was scream. I assume we're gonna need uh, the glitch glasses because we're, we're getting very glitchy, it seems. Where is he? Over there? No, that's just yeah, that's Hannon. <laughs> Whatever. Where is he? Hello? Yeah. Okay, we just go to the next area somehow. <laughs> okay, so they hit him while he's charging. Alright. Ow. I need more bombs. <laughs> I can't dodge these things. Otherwise. No, just hit him. DPS race! Also, Paige is like stuck there, I guess. Weirdly enough. Of the bomb, good. All right. Well, I have one more potion, so I guess I'll use that. It's the final battle, it seems. Healing potion. Turns out it's a brown liquid. All right, and then we just follow him. And one way, Lena. Again, in case I need it, I don't know. Oh, all right. Second form. Duh. Is he item? He's, he took my item somehow. Where's my hearts. Where's my hearts? I take my hearts using my UI against me. Uh, I don't have any more bombs. I have one arrow. That's not great. Does this work? Can I use fire on this? I can use it as a projectile. I don't know, I can use it against those weird, like, ground claws. Hmm. my, like, items. Stop it. I can still use my items, though. Not like I lose my items. Alright, the silver bow is gone. Um... Can I use this on the boss somehow? No. Ow, stop that. Uh, technically, using the fire is like a, it's, it's kind of like an infinite projectile. Use it as much as you want. Just, just jump over the attacks. If you don't die, Slider is surely lost. Oh no, I'm gonna be lost. You're no hero, Delvin. All this happened because of your pathetic need to feel important. You didn't care about Lance, you wanted to manipulate him. You didn't care about the danger Eighthridge presented to others, even after being warned. And look what it made you. Not a hero, but a monster. Who's the real monster? Aya, aya, aya. So get her. <laughs> Delvin's heart. Eating Delvin's corrupted heart permanently increases your fortitude. Yes. And the game cartridge. You hold the fate of the world in your hands. Blow out the dust, the world will end, and restart without the glitch. Um, I don't know. If, well, I don't know. Is there like a? I mean, I wish I could save, but okay, sure. This must be the end of our story then. And I thought it was just the beginning of of us, Lena. I miss you. But at least my archangels will get to live again. We blow the dust, and now the game works again. Okay, so the, the the world restarts. Lance doesn't die. Lena dies, I guess, as the final boss of the actual game, as faded by the world. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Lance is like, oh yeah, I killed her. Lena learned the truth about the archangels too late. The prince's power of compassion holds a secret that may help her next time. 
Okay, that's it. All right. It just kind of ends abruptly there. Well, there you go. That's the, the first playthrough of this game. The idea being that Lena was the final boss the entire time. And then the game got glitched because of Delvin and everything, right? And so she became the hero, sort of. But of course, she had to restart everything because the world wasn't right. She was not fated to be the hero. And therefore, she restarted everything. But by doing so, she sealed her, her own fate. I guess, is the idea. And alright. I believe that's called the sacrifice ending. Is that what it's called? I think that's called. But there's two other endings you can get in this game, however. So, let's get to that. We're required to, we're required to do a new game, however. You know, the world of pizza. Yes. Because we can get, we've been getting pizza from the pizza delivery guy, right? The world of pizza. Alright. So we start here again. Which is, uh, by the way, it's... I guess it's a hallucination, because this is not, this is not, this is not, not real at all. It's all fake. I guess, as, uh, as Lena was being transformed into her, like, human self, she, I guess, hallucinates the, the world as if, you know, her students were, like, human beings in the, in the entire time, but actually, they're just, you know, evil archangels, I guess, or something. She just keeps doing that over and over again. Is that your thing? That's just what you want to do? Forever? Buddy? I didn't mean to jump that way. Oh! Okay! Did I do it? Ah, oh, that was tough. I died so many times. Uh, if you don't die, pizza is surely lost. Okay. Just go away. Page is doing. It's just walking towards a wall. Whoop. Hey, I got a health upgrade, you know, after all that. Uh, not that it will accomplish anything. Well, now what? Did we miss something? Oh. Okay. Is that it? That's my prize? We're doing all that, we just die. Okay. That was not worth it at all. So apparently, okay, I think that's the the catastrophe ending. So if we go through the game without killing any of the of the bosses, except the final bosses, I guess, um, that happens. I guess the world gets consumed by the glitch, and then we just die. All right. <laughs> I guess that's the definitive bad end of this game. I guess that's it. All right. There's one more ending that you can get, but it uh, it's a bit more intensive, so I guess I'll just do that next time on another playthrough by collecting all the mystery items by doing all the side quests. I guess that's what I'll do. So let's see. There is one more ending that you can get in this game, but it's much more involved because you gotta do a bunch of side quests in the, in the game. I went ahead and started a new world. It's called Anime. The world of anime. Amazing. I guess what I'll do is just, you know, do the side quests. You have to do the side quests in order to get the items and use those items to, spoilers, uh, spare the bosses. Basically, it's what you need to do in order to get the best ending of this game. At least as, as far as I know, according to the one guide of this game. Well, there's technically two guides. But otherwise, there's not a lot of walkthroughs for this game, you know, actually. Not a lot of information in general. I guess because it's a pretty small game. But anyway, what am I doing? First, I need to do... Let's see. Uh, the first side quest, which involves finding the thirsty person, I guess? Which is right here. I can't fast travel, but I guess I can just, I can just walk. There we go. And I, I basically, on this run... I did most of the dungeons already without killing the bosses, similar to the second run, and up to that point of the, the castle and the glitch thing. Or the glitched castle dungeon or whatever. So up to that point, I even have the speed tunic again, which is great. I can go very fast. Whee! But yeah, talk to this person who... Coincidentally looks like, you know, Isaac from The Binding of Isaac for some reason. 
I'm so thirsty. Let me have that water potion. Thanks, I needed that. Okay, so I had like the um, I had the water potion, which I believe is called the runny blue potion or whatever. Or the blue runny potion, something like that. You just randomly get sometimes, or you buy, you know, just random. You get that item, you give it to this guy. Here, take this. Gives you a red paper clip. A nice red paper clip. Someone might need this. Maybe. Things are looking up, aren't they? Alright. But now we need to trade that paper clip to somebody else. It's probably it's a it's a probably a reference to you know that I don't think well, I don't know I don't know if it's a myth I don't think it's a myth I, I think it was real but you know how that guy traded like a paperclip all the way to uh, like a house or something you know by trading up every single object to another person until he got to that point I guess but uh, let's see I have my notes here what do I sell the red paperclip to. At least give it to. Uh, let's see. All right, over here. Hello. Is is that a paperclip? That's just what I need. Now, if you're much more organized, thank you. Hmm. Would you like this? I got a fish-shaped pen. All right. Now we can give that pen to uh, Creepy Jack. I'll never lose a thing because I'm so organized. It's weird. It's, it's weird that the the guy that I was looking at didn't have that information. Probably tell them that. Give them some feedback. I don't know if they're gonna update the guide, but you know they didn't. Uh, the, the the walkthrough did not mention anything about a paperclip. Actually, I went the wrong way. Where am I going? I'll go back to Creepy Jack. Uh, which where is Creepy Jack? Over here. Oh, it's like the long way around if I go there. How about this? One? There we go. Be over here. Right? I didn't notice it before, by the way, but the katana that you can buy, or you can upgrade anyway in this game, it allows you to attack while moving. You know, I didn't realize that before. I always thought that because I bought the other sword, I was kind of like uh, something felt odd about it. I didn't know why. It was because you know the katana, the one I was used to in my first playthrough, allows you to attack while moving. So I prefer the katana because you can move while you're attacking. You got a pen? Great. Let's get down to business. Here's a free sample. Got a forged deed in illegitimate illeg property. So I might still want this, I guess. Forged deed. Creepy Jack, okay, so he, he's a counterfeiter, I guess, or something. Mix forged documents. Uh, but we know someone who might want that, actually. I already visited them. In a vain attempt, you know, to figure out who, who would I give the paperclip to. Is that a deed in your hands? I'll trade off my briefcase and all its contents. I don't care if the deed is Ill illegitimate. I'll just trade it with an investment bank. Uh -huh. Fraud, don't worry about it. As offered, here's the briefcase. No take backsies. It's an empty briefcase. <laughs> okay. Got scammed. I told you, no take backs. Greed is good after all. Murder. Why can't I murder these skeletons? You know, I always kill skeletons in general. Why not murder these ones? Let's see. So who would want a briefcase? Did I meet them already? I don't remember now. Hello, weird. Traveling merchant. I guess they are like pulling at their hair. Is the idea? Is that what they're doing? I didn't know what they were doing with their hands before. So they're pulling at their weird like twin tails. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, I don't want to talk to you, Pink. Oh, that briefcase will be very useful carrying my goods. You want something in return? Hmm, how about my shirt? Literally, the shirt off his back. And a new customer, nice to meet you. Please take this free sample. A brown silk tunic. And you're supposed to buy something from him, I guess. I might as well buy this family heirloom. I don't want to spend well, I don't want to spend too much money. Because I do need the money for another side quest, actually. I guess I'll buy that. Now I got a uh, extra heart. Amazing, finally. <laughs> One extra heart, which is more valuable in this kind of playthrough where I'm not killing the bosses. If you can find me three more times, I'll give you an especially rare reward. My mystical book tells me we'll meet here. I won't do that yet. I mean, I could, but you know, 
I want to finish the... I want to make sure I keep track of my side quests and finish them one by one. So, I'll do the one where I give the shirt to the naked bear. I remember seeing a naked bear in my other playthrough. I was wondering how to get that shirt. You can finally clove that bear. Bear. I guess, I guess it's more like a panda. Though. Are, are pandas bears? I guess they are. You bought me a shirt? Thank you. It even smells musty too. Let me give you this for your troubles. It's a bear claw. Okay, literally gave us his nails. This shirt started to tear, but that's okay. Yeah, because he was being harassed by the zoologist. <laughs> Actually, he didn't want to see the zoologist keeps. Looking at them. With like no shirt. It's creepy. Oh, no, I, I want to go over here and then do this. Hiya! Now the barrier's all gone. Amazing. Let's see. How do I get the zoologist is over here? Right? Yes. Over here. Zoologist, you want like a weird bear claw? Oh, my Archangels, is that a bear claw? I just have to have it. Here, take this. And his binoculars. An extra pair of eyes for seeing farther. I love bears so much, they're unbearably cute. It's kind of weird, though, because... I mean, in this world, bears are sentient humanoid beings. So actually, the, you know, the zoologist is a bit of a creep. Anyway... Alright, so we did that. That's one of the more annoying quests. If you, you know, I guess you're able to do that without the, the guy. But you know, I wanted to save the tedium. Because the, the main thing about that is finding the correct NPCs and giving them the right items and everything. The next one, though, is to, let's see, get the book. To get a book, I have to go to the traveling merchant. Okay, so, well, that, yeah, that's what we're going to do anyway. Right after. So, let's see. From here. So, I just got to talk to the merchants again. So he appears, let's see, he appears just, well, three locations just right here. Oh, and there's a fourth one over there. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, just meet him three more times and then he gives you something, I guess. Uh, there's not over here. Oops, I went the wrong way. Over here. Use the glasses. Go up. Should be around over here. Yep. Ah, I hate these exploding snails. Nah, let's not deal with it. Our fates cross what's more. Okay. I gotta save my money, but I uh, might as well buy that. Buy that mine. Why not? You found me twice, but can you find me three times? The Book of Changes tells me we'll soon cross paths here. No, it's right south. Right here. Uh, but, um, how do I reach it? Let's see. Well, I can do this. Here? Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I could, like, go... I could, like, you know, do the loop thing. But I guess there's no... There's an obstacle there. I can't really do that. I guess I'll just go for like this. Okay. Our phrase cross once more. Alright. I mean, I kind of want to buy this. Uh... I mean, it doesn't matter, though. I'm, I'm gonna use the... Uh, I'm gonna use the... Speed tunic anyway. Let's see, two thousand. Well, I think I need at least one thousand. So okay, I, I guess I can buy that. I gotta make sure to have enough money for like one particular cycle. Right. Three times is beyond coincidence. Boring on serendipitous. Uh, actually, I can't say that word. Serendipitous. Serendipitous. <laughs> I can't say that word. Serendipitous. 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 Can you guess where we'll meet next? I'm gonna show you. Show me around the map. So. Just go there. Alright. And then go down. Hello. Hello, merchant. Ah, get oh, I'm dying. Help. Oh, God. Help, I'm dying. Eh. Oh, that's fine. The way it works, I, I guess, in this game, as I've learned, is that once you have zero health, you kind of just... You kind of bleed out a little bit, but you get your health back. Via Call of Duty style, you know? You, know, you don't get all your health back, but you get, you know, at least half a heart. I'm a man of my word. Here's your reward for tracking me down. The book of changes. It's old, dusty, and what purpose does it serve? 
Perhaps it's destiny for us to keep running to each other like this. Uh, yeah, what is it actually? It's just it's just a book of changes. Remain uninvolved. Water, water, sky, lake, page five waiting. Persisting within confounding constraints brings misfortune. Okay, is it like... Is it like a fortune telling book or something? Weird. Oh, I can use the binoculars. Can I? Huh. Okay, weird. It just looks at a laboratory for some reason. Maybe it depends on which location you are in the game. Can I look at this locket? No, I click on the locket, it doesn't do anything. Locket you get from uh, doing Paige's whole side quest, which we did in the first playthrough. It's hard to miss if you're using her in your run. Uh, let's see. But I can go to, let's see, the gambling district, I guess. Not really district, it's the stock market. Let's deposit. Uh, can I deposit, like, just all my money? Well, I don't know if I need my money, but I can just pay so I'll, I'll deposit like a thousand. And the idea is that, um... Let's see, can I do this actually? Can I just de deposit all my money anyway? A thousand. And then I said before, like right here, you don't want to know how to prevent money laundering, you can draw at most 999. Okay, well, normally you're supposed to play the stock market. Well, might as well. A little bit. Why not? Might as well uh, buy a million of these. The idea is that you're supposed to have more than a 999 and withdraw to get the item, but you might as well know, do one of this, I guess. The idea is that uh, it's a good idea to invest in the lowest stock, actually, because it can't go any lower, and therefore I've just doubled my money right there. The idea. Unless guys, have... yeah. I have now have extra two thousand. Amazing. Free money. Double your money. It's that easy. Let's see. Withdraw. Let's withdraw. I mean, I don't know if it matters, but let's withdraw like exactly like a thousand, if possible. And just go to a thousand, please. No. Nope. 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 I'm sorry, but this transaction will exceed your withdrawal limit. If uh, if I approve the withdrawal, the Gilbert will be at risk of insolvency. Get an, a vague promise of payment from the bank, an IOU. If you own some guild stock, however, we might be able to help you. Hey, okay, guild stock? Sure. So maybe there's a way to manipulate that and get more money? That's fine. I'll just leave the, the extra thousand bucks in the bank. And got the IOU, so that's the item that we have now. Onwards to the next one, which is, let's see... We need to go to... A Strange Cave. Alright, so the Strange Cave would be... Somewhere around here. I think I saw one. Oh. Inconvenient. I can't go that way. Uh, let's try again. Oh, I can go all I can go up here. That works. But some, some places you can fast travel to that are not dungeons for some reason. I don't know why. I just got some health, actually. I need the health. Because this side quest involves fighting. I'll talk to you. Hey, want to help beta test a game I'm developing? It's based on a trick a stranger showed me with potions and tunes. The game's called the hallucinatory, hallucinatory Battle Arena. Yeah, it's a game within the game. Enter the cave to begin. Beat nine waves for a special reward. Hmm, nine waves, eh? This might be tough, actually, or at, least, at the very least, might take a bit. But well, we'll see, I guess. All right. So it's a uh, it's a wa it's a wave type survival mini game, I guess. The page is not attacking, by the way. I guess she's not allowed to. I didn't know there were rules against using companions. Okay. Skeleton. The page can still be damaged, though. Funny. 
Gotta be careful, however. I can't die. I only have like four health health points. Especially if you have to fight the exploding snails. That would suck. I really hate fighting those exploding snails. But yeah, look at that. I also have the hammer I got from before. Well, at least I drop hearts, actually. That was not too bad. I like the bosses. The bosses, obviously, they don't drop hearts when you fight them. Okay, spiders. They're easy enough. They just often just spawn in the shadow. Yeah! Okay, one more. Do -do 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 -do. You know, the theme song is, is quite catchy. Oh, oh, weird. I can, like... Wait, I can pick them up? I didn't know that. Hey, that's something new I learned just now. I didn't know you could pick up the snails. Huh. I, was, I, I wonder if we could pick up those exploding snails in that case, you know? I didn't know you could do that. Was that like a enemy in Zelda, maybe? Maybe you would you would know if you like played Zelda extensively and you know like there's an enemy type where you can pick them up after hitting them or something? I don't know. I don't remember. I've, again, I've never like, really played Zelda all that much. I played Minish Cap a lot. Otherwise, though, my knowledge of Zelda is just basic, I guess. You know? I remember, well, I remember watching my friend play Wind Waker, you know, a long time ago when I was a kid. I remember that. Otherwise, though, you know. Not, not really like a hardcore Zelda gamer, you know? But then again, I think I said it before, but you know, you don't really need to play all the Zelda games to know what a Zelda game is, I feel like. I mean, come on, Zelda. Like one of the most famous franchises ever, so like... And also, like, it te they tend to be very iterative. I guess. Is that the right word? Iterative? Iterative. Iterative? Iterative? They tend to be very similar to each other. You know, the same themes and mechanics over and over and over again. I guess the only difference is like, sometimes there's the 2D ones and there's the 3D ones. A lot of the modern ones are 3D. Anyway, uh, nice. Let me give you this. You got a cup. Alright, got a trophy. I'll take this as my thanks. And I uh, got the tunic, I guess. But with that tunic, you can take on the hallucinatory battle arena anytime you want. It will work anywhere, but this cave is a especially good spot for it. You've only played the beginning. After round 9, enemies start getting harder. Okay. Eh, uh, no thank you. I just want the item. So I guess the idea is that you can get like a high score or something. By wearing the tunic. It will work anywhere. It's weird though, I have like two now? Or, I don't know, if maybe it didn't count. But I, I had one already. Yeah, I already had one, so I'll just... Technically, he didn't give me anything at all. He just threw it on the ground. Anyway. What's the next one? Let's see. So this one... Okay, so this one's similar to the trading quest. Hopefully, we don't hit a snag again. Just like the first one. I swear... I think I did it right, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm double reading... I'm double checking the walkthrough for the first side quest. And I swear, yeah, they didn't mention anything about a paperclip. <laughs> anyway. Uh, pen. Alright, so you gotta do, you gotta talk to the dungeon. Oh no, you gotta actually go to the... Okay, first you gotta go to a, this, a store. The status effect store, which I saw before. Yeah, right here. Nearby. To a dungeon, so I can teleport very easily. Over here. Hello? Hello! My name's Potter. Potter? A wizard? No, uh, I concoct potions for a living. And I'm Tunley, Potter's younger brother. I design fashionable tunics. My works are always in high demand among discerning adventurers. We just moved in this place to open a store, except our sister Tressa is essential to our business plan and she's just wandered off. Please help us find her again. Last I heard, she was helping some shady fellow run a hallucination-based game in a cave. Do you know anyone like that? Uh, yes, we do. Sure. Is it the same dialogue? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. 
You know, like, literally repeat all the dialogue all over again. So we just we just came from that actually, the strange cave. So you know, over here. Talk to you. Oh, you're looking for someone who works with potions and tunics? That sounds like Tressa. She's the one who showed me how to set up this hallucinatory, hallucinatory battle arena. You should give her a call on 555 3956. 3956. Oh, okay, I don't have to remember it already. Written down. Sure. Ring, ring. What's up, R? Actually, call back later. The librarian will start throwing stuff at me again if she catches me on the phone in the library. Click. She's at the library. Wait, what do you think about that page? You're looking for Tressa? She was at the library a little while ago. She seems very interested in the books about finance. Maybe you should try looking for her at the bank? Hmm. Okay, that's weird because we didn't even go to the library. I guess the, the NPC is scripted to say that she went to the bank or something. She's weird, but alright, let's go to the bank. Alright, where is she? Does anyone know? I can't reveal whether someone called Tresso has been here. First, you need to answer some security questions. The first question is, what's the name of Tressa's eldest brother? Uh, Potter, right? Good. Now the second question, what's the name of Tressa's youngest brother? I forgot. Uh, Tunley. I looked it up. <laughs> Thank you for authenticating, Tressa. I can view that you were just here, taking out a loan in order to redecorate a business property. You gave me the telephone number of Garinter. Garinter? 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 I can't say that word for some reason. Your Garinter. Garinter? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, 1105. Okay. Tressa's mom. Oh, okay. Also, that's kind of weird. Why are you like a computer? Aren't you like a person? You're a computer person, I guess. Anyway, let's talk to her mom. Hello, I'm calling about Tressa. Is she hurt? I'm always telling her one of these days she'll get hurt. Scavenging dungeons is dangerous. Like, yeah, dungeons? Hmm. I should take a quick look around the nearest one. Hmm, the nearest one? Is it just literally the nearest one? Because the nearest one is this one. It's the bank. I don't know if this is the correct way to go. But we can check, I guess. This is literally the nearest one. Uh, oh, actually, we can't go this way. This is the way if we want to go normally. If we was here, if we were here the first time, but actually to go back to the dungeon, we need to go around this way. Yeah, this is where we exited. Is that Tressa? Uh, you're the one my brother sent to find me, aren't you? Well, I've got everything I need to open the store now. You want to know our secret? Potion and tunics work by the same rules at a fundamental level. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that actually. It uses the same effects. That's how I'm able to craft tunics from potions. Here's a copy of a patent if you're curious. Patent number 95,900,996. Uh, uh, Indecisible document about status effects. Well, I'm headed back to the store. Want to come with me? Sure, why not? So we got the patent. That's the key item that we want. Can we do anything here? Buy green linen. I can make a new tunic that has the same effect as one of your potions. It costs us 100 bucks. I don't need a potion and a tunic that you don't want anymore. Hmm, okay. So you can com combine things. Interesting. And this is the, just the potion store itself. So I guess if you don't have the one that you need or that you want in this playthrough, you know, because, it has, because it's randomized depending on your seed, you can simply just craft the one you want. Again, I don't really need any, anything else, you know, other than. You know, other than the speed tunic. That's all that's all, that's the only one I need. And any other like interesting combinations maybe? I guess you could use any of these potions as well. There's like a strength potion, camouflage, defense. Eh, I don't know. Interesting. But not really anything I need, because I already have the one I want. The the green speed tunic. Which is actually quite appropriate because it's kind of like Link's tunic, I guess. All right, so that's that's another one down. What's the next one? 
We have to explore the eastern side of the kingdom. Alright. Alright, talk to you. Over the course of my life, I've cut down hundreds of trees. I've found small items, baddies, and sometimes, sometimes, even wood. But I've never found any secrets. I don't think there are any. But I'd be very happy if you prove me wrong. The woodcutter's axe. Cut some wood for me. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Alright, I have an axe now. Ask you a question. Uh, Wow, you did? Incredible! I can't believe it, I'm so excited! You found a secret! Is it? It doesn't look like a secret. I think we're gonna go cut some wood right now. Here, you should keep this. Oh, it might need it. That error log. Ah. It's a glitch log. Use it to mine. Not my. I was, I was gonna make a, a Minecraft joke or something, but I don't know what kind of joke you can make. You know, use it to craft. A glitched house. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, that one, okay. Technically, there's a secret. Oh, yeah, I guess you can walk here. I don't know what this accomplishes, though. Maybe if you kill these enemies, it drops something? Drops a rock. Good. I kind of don't need any more of these meteors. I feel like the, the only upgrade you need is a sword. You know, everything else is just cherry on top. Maybe the silver bow. So I can use the axe to like destroy corners, I guess. Mm. That's probably like a like a whole other thing, you know, of finding stuff as well. Maybe you find like a secret arena or a secret place through those uh, walls by using the axe, and you know, stuff will happen, I guess. Can I talk to the bears first, by the way? She broke my stool! I hate to think about what she gets up to when we're not here. Someone keeps sneaking to our house. It's a complete violation of our privacy! Alright. I didn't talk to the bears before, but talk to you. That leader here claimed to be harassed by women who enter home while they're out. Jeez, Goldilocks. And I kept failing this one because I thought. No, oh, let's see. That there was a misunderstanding of how the mechanics worked on the second screen that I didn't know about. I thought like I need an item or something to like progress or whatever, because those boxes with the arrows pointing up seemed to be important. As it turns out, I guess it wasn't. I don't know if it's just for decoration, you know, but the arrows to me seem important. You know, these ones right here, they seem important, but I guess not. I guess it's just an arrow pointing up for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's not even an arrow. What we're supposed to do is hide behind the boxes, which is weird. It kind of makes no sense because she would be able to see you, right? But no. Even though it's like waist high, your, your literal hair is just poking out above the boxes. Somehow, she can't see you behind those boxes. It's kind of, I feel like it's kind of dumb. But whatever. <laughs> Great job, Leta. Oh, okay. So we don't need I thought we were gonna do like a third one, but actually, this is the this is all this is all we need. Now she's going to jail forever. The guy left uh, her report behind. Can you look at it? No? It's just a police report, I guess. Alright. I guess that's it. You know. Yeah, these boxes, I s you think it would do something. It does not. It does nothing, as it turns out. At least as far as I know. Maybe there's still an item that I haven't found yet. That could be a thing. But otherwise, it's not very essential, as far as I know. You'll always be welcome here, Lena. Thank you for protecting my family. Hey, Glenn, I want to play cops and robbers? No. No, thank you. Miss Goldilocks will just simply rot in jail. Uh, which will actually will be in the castle. Actually, I wonder, can you see her, you know, the, the... Can you see her in the actual palace or something? I don't know, maybe not. Anyway. What's the next one? I don't know, let's see. Uh, actually, no, well, actually, that's it. Okay, so the last one technically is uh, Paige's Affections. I already did that. Lock it and everything. So I guess, yeah, that's all we need. Alright. 
No, get away from that. So all we need to do now is to simply go to the dungeons and spare the boss. I guess is all we need to do. Let's do that. Uh, let's see. Go back all the way to dungeons. Now, I'm not sure how to do this, however, exactly. I just know that you're supposed to. By using the power of compassion that we got from the prince that one time. In the story, right? Save. So we have the item. We have the power of compassion. We just need to go to the boss. You can teleport. Fight the boss. And then use a power of compassion somehow? I don't know. Hopefully you don't screw it up. Yeah, if I if I do screw it up, I guess it's just reload. Azrafail Flail, the Knight of Death. Imposter! Hmm, interesting. Maybe it calls us imposter because you know, technically we are the ultimate archangel and everything, right? Is the idea. I have to make, I have to like pay attention to the the icon, the power of compassion. I think when it starts spinning is when you're supposed to use it. I don't know. Also, I only just noticed. I never noticed the first time I fought him, but I guess you're supposed to hit the 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 flails like string. I guess is the idea. I didn't know that. As far as I know, maybe I didn't know that. I don't know. I'm not sure. But you're supposed to cut off the flail. You know, that's what you're supposed to do. I didn't know that. I thought you were supposed to just hit him. Okay. Um, you stuck? No. Oh, yeah! But you don't have to fight like this. Here, have, bi have binoculars. Okay. Okay, so it's automatic. You have to choose. Archangel Azraflail left peacefully. Yeah, depending on, um... On the kids that you saw in the very beginning, which I assume was just a... Hallucination from Lena, but basically the items are associated with their like you know their favorite hobby or whatever the favorite present I guess. Uh, Lance, I hope you truly understand the power of compassion. It is said that with it, any conflict can be resolved without bloodshed. Any? It, it doesn't seem to work with like the normal mobs though. <laughs> you know, like the slimes and the skeletons. I don't think you can use it on them. Uh, hearts don't have to be broken. Though I suppose some people might be pretty hard to reason with. Perhaps you could offer a personal gift to bend the bond when they're at the moment of weakness. Okay. Hmm. And here's this thing. Should I pick it up? I guess you're supposed to pick it up. I believe, yeah, these are just corrupted memories of the cutscenes we saw before. Alright, one down. Eight to go, I think? Was it nine archangels? It should be pretty simple, it should be pretty fast, because I can just fast travel right to the bosses. I've explored quite thoroughly in these dungeons, so I can just always just teleport to where I need to go. I'll save some time, because I did it like off-screen, mostly. Rock knocking. And I guess it doesn't, because I was, I was wondering, oh, you're not a, you're not her. I'm not a fan of this. Hmm. I wonder if the dialogue's the same. Because yeah, now, now you have context with that. Because, you know, Lena, again, was the original final boss of this game. That's the reason they're saying that. Ow. 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 Uh, I was gonna say, you know, it doesn't matter what item you need. If you just do all the side quests, you know, you don't have to choose or anything. I imagine if you don't have the right item, obviously, probably bad. Then you don't have the right item. Okay. Compassion! We don't have to fight like this. Here, have an IOU. It's just like a lot of money, I guess. I just bribed them, alright. No particular, like, special, I guess, uh, mechanic 
Well, not mechanic. Well, it is a mechanic in itself, but I guess no special extra thing I need to do other than getting the items, I guess. So like a very, very fast boss rush, I guess. Here is the dolphin. How long can you hold your breath, human? I can hold my breath for a long time, huh? Alright. How are you supposed to do this? Just... I mean, just wait, I guess. Attack. Attack. Hmm. Hopefully I don't kill it, you know? That's the biggest thing. Also, I'm in the water now. I can't use the power of compassion if I'm in the water. Weird. Yeah. Maybe work up. I don't help. Yeah. Oh. I was wondering, wait, how do I dodge that? I can't jump. I can dive in the water. Duh. Forgot about that. Alright, are you weak now? Can I use the Oh, I think I can, I think I can, right? Oh! We're gonna fight. Ha! We did it. Here, have, like, police reports. I guess. That's the one that likes police officers, I guess? And then the dolphin left. Hmm. No other extra dialogue, though. <laughs> You'd think it'd be kind of weird. They just... Like, here, have an item. And then they just leave. Hey, it's the cat. Murder Tabby. A new toy. Take that. Now I wonder how it's gonna work once the bosses go into glitch forms, you know? How's that gonna work? No idea. I'm so fast. You can't catch me? Like that. Okay, yeah, there's the glitch form. Now I wonder... How's it gonna work? Because obviously we can, like, play the game, right? If I do, though, it'll die. That's the thing. I don't want it to die. I don't want the thing to die, necessarily. I gotta pay attention to when it rotates, maybe. Compassion thing. Play the game. Oh, and then compassion, alright. So we don't have to, like, press the final command. Here, have a book. Boop. There you go. Another memory. Over here. It's this one. Uh, we, not, we might need bombs for this one, actually. You gross, you're a human. I'm your old boss, don't you remember? Remember our time with pizza? Actually, that's not what I want. I want, um, bombs. I want bombs. Bombs? Way for his other veins, his other attack first. Yeah, this attack. Then plant. Okay. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. You done? Should a bomb at you or something? I don't know. That just the I just had the way, I guess. bombs, I guess. Run away. Ah, hit myself. Alright, two. Two hits. So probably, uh, one more. And then he transforms, I believe, yeah. I mean, just like last time, I guess. The boss is gonna transform. I only have two... I was gonna say two hearts. I have one heart. 
might not even survive the encounter. Mm. If only that healing tunic worked like I... Or at least I knew, I knew how to use the healing tunic, I don't know how to use it. I'm kind of wearing it right now, but let's see. Healing tunic. I don't seem to be healing, is the thing. Is that to pick up stuff or something? I don't know. No. I healed there, but that's just natural healing regeneration. Well, put on the speed tunic again. Let's see. Now, what do I do here? I'm not sure. Do I just survive? Because I don't know. <laughs> I remember this part being kind of hectic near the end. Because I think, yeah, it, she just keeps shooting more and more projectiles. Oh, and then... Uh, oh. oh, okay. You don't have to fight! Even though I just threw a bomb at you, accidentally. I pressed the wrong button. Alright, and, and then they left. Alright, good. Another corrupted memory, blood money, made a deal, Mr. Chairman. It's the crab one, alright. Doomsday crab. Whoop whoop. Okay. There's not much dialogue there, just whoop whoop whoop. I wonder if you can use binoculars for anything. You know, I, it's funny, we still have the binoculars even though we gave them away. We can't use them in the dungeon. I don't know what use is that. Put on the arrows. Use the arrows. Okay, you're gonna charge at me? Good. It does nothing. You hear me? It does nothing. Oh, wait. Oh, try again. I keep missing that. Up. Just shoot up. Get this bubble over here. Do 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 do. I already hear this song a million times. I feel like. It is quite catchy though, especially when they uh, well the theme song when they play. I missed. When they uh, transform to the glitch form. I like that song. It's the same song as the title. Music. But you know. Cooler, you know, because it has like electric guitars and everything. Right, let me do this correctly. Come on. No? Does not work? Okay, I hit it while it's moving or something? Anyway. Which form? Creepy, creepy. It is, you know, it's, it's, the game's not really all that horrific, you know? No like horror elements really, but I guess the glitch forms are a little bit. They're a little bit scary, I guess. In terms of its. Grotesqueness. Grotesqueness? Grotesqueness? Am I supposed to shoot it while one of its mouths are open or something, maybe? Come on, open the mouth. Say ah. I tried to do it, but. It's moving in a circle. Damn it. Come on, try again. Open the eyes. Your eye melt. What? I keep missing it. I don't know why. I felt like this was easier the first time I did it. Come on. Open your mouth eye again. Alright. Probably hit it one more time and then we get the chance to. Use the power of compassion. Amazing. <laughs> it's you know it's funny because I can't I can't shoot diagonally. I'm just sometimes wanting to shoot diagonally. Like, yeah. All right, there you go. You charge at me one more time or something. Yep. Hello. No power of compassion yet. Seems. Now I can, alright. But we don't have to fight. 
Here, have this thing. What's that thing? I don't know what that is. What's that again? It was the the pat. Okay, give him give him pat. I'm making those like tunics. Yeah. Fight the seventh boss. It's the snowman, giver of unwanted gifts. Ho ho ho! What do I need? Oh uh, wait. Uh, I wonder like what do I need for this dungeon? I don't remember actually. Like the bosses you fight kind of depend on what items you get in certain dungeons, and that that's a little randomized sometimes. I assume fire, right? I assume fire. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. When do I shoot him? I don't know when I do shoot him. Uh, just hit him there, I guess. Just in general. Hit him there, <laughs> somehow. Eh, melt the snowman. Melt the snowman. No thank you. Mr. Frosty, or whatever, you know that song about Mr. Frosty? Or was it Mr. Frosty something? Some kind of Christmas song about building a snowman, and then they have a grand old time. And they put on like a top hat, and then the snowman becomes like a magical sentient being. And then winter is over. Uh, oh, I can get passion right there, alright. And then Mr. Frosty smelts. I gave it the locket for some reason, and suddenly, oh, I like that lock. I like that picture of your girlfriend, basically. It's kind of weird. Anyway. Paige gave, you know, it's funny, Paige gave Lena that as like a, a keepsake. It's very important. And they just gave it to a random snowman. I don't know. Scarecrow. Or... Not really a scarecrow, it's a vampire magician, rather. Pay attention while I make a human disappear! Well, don't make it disappear. That's no good. That's no good at all. Um, not sure what I need in this dungeon. It's just, you know, you don't need anything. You just... Kind of fight it normally. Ow. At least the bats drop. Parts. Eh. Jump, jump, just keep jumping. Huh? Ah. When can I damage it? Hello? Oh, probably need glitch glasses in this one. It turns out it's a bunny. Right, yeah, okay, I remember now. I technically haven't fought these bosses for quite a while. It's been a week, technically. The recording. I haven't touched the game for a week. I don't remember everything. So I guess, yeah, you just, you just survive his onslaught. And then... He does the glitch thing, and then you just hit him while he's wandering around. Thing here. Oh, might as well collect that heart. Ah, I missed it. I missed I miss collecting the heart. Damn it. Hmm. Oh, only two hits. But I guess he transforms into this thing, this weird creature. You gotta wait for the compassion. Ah. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. Um. Darn. Huh? Are you dead? Mo Shindieru? Please drop health? I don't know. Nah, I'm dead. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, try again, I guess. Not too much damage there. This is the laser. 
this whole song and dance again. Maybe I should just hold down the... I don't know. Just hold down the glitch glasses? Is that what you're supposed to do? Maybe. There's that, and then I can go attack. I hate when the enemy just spawn on me. Everything looks kind of weird though when it's like full on glitch. I can't. Hard to pay attention. Don't spawn on me! I don't. I don't okay. Compassion, alright. It's just like you hit him two times and after the scream, then you can compassion. I was so close like multiple times, but I kept dying. But now I did it. Alright. Here we have a log. I don't know where it went, but. Take it. Grab that. Now I have the power of truth. And I guess that's technically the key item that you get, or that you need rather, to uh, get one of the endings. I remember, you know, the second time I went through the game, I didn't have the power of truth or whatever, and the game just ended w quite abruptly, as it turns out. So I guess you probably would get like a, also the same bad ending that I got in my second playthrough if you had the choice to blow the dust, I guess, on the cartridge or whatever the first time. If you chose not to blow uh, the cartridge, then you would just die the same way. So the reason, by the way, because my second playthrough, I spared, well not really spared, but like I skipped all the bosses so I didn't get the power of truth in order to get the second ending. And I could have used that same playthrough to get the third ending, however, I accidentally saved over the... the flag, I guess. The point of no return when I murdered the chairman. Which I didn't want to do because... And I don't know if it matters all that much, but you can spare him, actually. You, you can use the power of compassion on him. Which I didn't want to do until the third, you know, ending or whatever. Or at least when I start getting the third ending. However, you know, I saved over that point, so I can't do it. I forgot his old pattern. Okay. But yeah, let's just do his own thing again and see when I need to use the power of compassion. Probably on his fourth form, I guess. Not really well not really form, but like when he's about like one hit away from death, maybe that's when you can actually use the power of compassion. Most likely. I fell off. Oops. That's weird. Also, he summons the bulls on the on the pits when you fall off or something. Is that how it works? Uh, it's weirdly programmed. <laughs> I can't dodge that. It goes too fast. Can't react to it. Ah, damn it. If it hits you once, then, you know, it doesn't count. So restart the whole phase. Fail the tennis section. Do it again. Somehow did not get hit. Okay. I'm looking at the power of compassion. I guess not yet. Still more. And was it four hits? I guess it wasn't four hits. It was actually more than four hits, I remember. I was being I was I remember being surprised that it was more than three hits. I guess it's like five hits maybe? Was it five? Six? I don't know. It has a lot of health, I guess. I remember at some point he just summons three bulls at once, which is kind of cheating, actually. Alright. That's probably his last phase. Yeah. I don't know if I need to jump, actually. Maybe I'm safe for that. No, no, I, I need to jump, actually. Otherwise, I wouldn't got hit. Got hit again. Whoops. 
The Passion. I'm declaring bankruptcy. You, you can't do that. Why not? You're also bankrupt. Morally bankrupt. Uh -huh. But this will affect your credit rating for years. That's not going to matter. You're insolvent. If there's anything in this world that bleeds cash, it's your bank. Why is there so many just money jokes? The Guild Bank uh, treads such a fine line that a shingo, a single, not shingo, single shock will cause its total collapse. And this time, the prince can't bail you out. The truth is that I simply can't pay. Unfortunately, humans just don't bleed money. No! Okay. Alright, that's, that's the cutscene you get for sparing him. A bunch of puns about money. Um, pick this up. Oh, it's power well. There you go. And of course, though, we still need to fight Delvin, however. One way to fix this slush the true game over. Anime will restart, beginning anew. Yes. A new season will, will start. Final challenge overcome. That's you. We're the final you're evil. Archangel Delvin. Oh boy, this music. Because I remember this music. Uh, wait, Lena, I never knew you as an Archangel. Oh, is this dialogue new? But I've got to know you as a human. And you're not evil. You got involved with all this because you cared about your students. And then because you wanted to save Prince Daniel and all the people Lance would have stood up for. Through all this, you've sacrificed not a single life. Yeah. Let's yeah, we... Well... Unless you count the slimes. We just... You remember that time we murdered a bunch of slimes and... Roasted them over a campfire. I guess those don't count. They don't, you know, they don't have rights. Anyway. You're the single most compassionate human being I've ever known. Alright. Then we make out. Oh, Delvin, I've died many times already to get here. Every time the glitch comes back just as it was before. It's a persistent taint on our world, and there's only one way to remove it. And I just need to blow the dust out. No. I will save everyone. Shut up and die. Ah. I guess we still have to fight him. He's gonna suck because I have no health. I mean, uh, okay, fine. I'll use. Well, should I? I have six of them. All right, I'll use one. I'll use one, I guess. All right, these bombs here. Hit him here, I guess. Oh, yeah. Hit, hit it. Yep. And it does this again. I guess uh, I. Do I need the glitch glasses, by the way? I guess I don't need the glitch glasses, so. I can just use whatever. Attack, 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 attack. Do as much damage as I can. But I don't know when to spare him, actually. I'm not sure, because he has, like, a lot of health. Usually when you spare the bosses, it's, like, on particular phases when he ha they have, like, a particular health value. But I'm not sure exactly when you're supposed to spare him, exactly. Then throw the bomb again. Classic mistake every time. Yep, Sonic time. Pew, pew, pew. Spin dash. You can't spin dash me. You're not blue enough. Gotta be careful not to use too much of my resources. You know, if I die, technically the the bombs and the arrows get used up anyway when you continue, which sucks. So, well, as long as I use my health potions, I guess. Hopefully, I don't take too much damage. No, <laughs> I 
out of his spin dash. It's funny that the you know Delvin just stands there the whole time. It's because I killed most of his tentacle attacks that you bomb. Usually there's like a you know he stays there in order to control his tentacle attacks or whatever, but. Health again. It's not great. Mm. Oh, all right. I have no health. Let's see. Hopefully, I can heal up. It's kind of scary, actually. This is like a moment where okay, good. a slight moment where you're kind of vulnerable when you're using the actual potion. that. I also can't tell when the impassion thing is spinning. Not sure. Oh, I'm dead! Oh my god. Uh, that sucks. And there goes my stuff. Right. I might as well, you know, I have a lot of holy healing potions. I might as well heal up now. In case things goes, goes bad. Real quick. I'll pay attention to the compassion, though. I can spare him, I think. I might accidentally kill him. Not that it matters. I, I, I think the ending doesn't matter if you kill him or not. But, you know. I want to see the what happens. I already killed him, so I want to see what happens if you don't kill him. So I get a lot of damage myself again. Uh, healing potion. be spinning okay it seems to be the my my power of compassion thing it seems to be spinning when he does the UI attack how shall do I have this a hmm. one and a half heart oh. hit again well might as well heal up <laughs> I got so many healing potions I bought them for a reason not dying I refuse I refuse to die to you Delvin This attack. Oh, compassion. There you go. You're no hero, Delvin. All of this happened because of your pathetic need to feel important. You didn't care about Lance. You wanted to manipulate him. You didn't care about the danger Eight Fridge presented to others, even after being warned. And look what it made you. Not a hero, but a monster. Now return the cartridge and clear off. Wait, <laughs> so sad. You got a scolding. That's basically what happened. Now the game cartridge. You hold the fate of the world in your hands. Well. I assume you blow it, right? This must be the end of your story, then. Of our story, rather. And I thought it was just the beginning of us, Lena. I'll miss you. Same thing, I guess, from the first time. Oh! Lena, stop! My children, you came back for me. Don't blow on the cartridge. The fate that awaits us that way is filled with pain. Yeah, screw fate. There has to be another way. If I don't do this, we'll all die. Ah, we're so close. The cause of our problems is right here. Whoa, what just happened? <laughs> you just touch it and you can use level select? Like, punch the cartridge. Now it looks like we're in a debug menu. 
maybe there's something you can use here. Hmm. Choose level. You can choose where you want to go here. I don't know if it matters. Like, if I choose the wrong one, I might have to, like, restart the very beginning or something. I'd rather just... Well, I guess let's pick this one. It seems like the right one. Level 9. Hmm. Now, this place smells familiar. So this is where you live? I grew up in these corridors, preying on the smaller monsters that humans left behind. I was hungry a lot of the time. Okay, so this is the final dungeon, I guess? Anything to do here? Pick these up? No? Alright, I guess this is the final, the true final dungeon of this game. After sparing all the Archangels and being the game, now we're over here. Uh, let's see. Oh, we don't get a map though, which is slightly annoying. I don't like it when the dungeons don't have maps, because I, I get lost very easily if I don't have a map. Give me a map. Come on. Uh, Paige, I need to tell you something. There are a few skeletons in my closet. Uh, how humorous. No, seriously. Because this is her closet. Uh -huh. What about the skeletons, though? <laughs> you know, it's like, again, yeah, it seems like he's a hero and everything, but apparently the, the skeletons don't matter. Like the normal mobs, anyway, they don't. Apparently, I guess they just don't matter. In the grand scheme of things. Bye, Paige. By the way, it reminds me actually, there- I didn't show it, I guess it's too late now, but... In the library, I've noticed there was like a secret room behind the bookcase or whatever. Um, it was not too secret though, it's just an empty room actually. So, there's not much in it. But you can like move the, the bookcase actually, you didn't need like any kind of- Well, maybe you needed the bracelet of strength maybe, but... All you needed to do was move the bookcase, and you just go in. It's just an empty room. And Paige is like, there was a room in here? You know, she didn't even know there was a secret room. Uh, did you have family here? Or friends? Not for a long time. Until I saw the power of truth and created the Archangels. Yes. The Archangels. You would think, I mean, I guess it's like, pretty standard. In a lot of, uh... RPGs actually, JRPGs in particular, but you would think when, when you think Archangel, you think it's a good thing, right? Nope. Not a good thing at all. At least in this game, they're meant to be evil, evil Archangels, even though they're angels. You would think angels are heavenly. What is this? <laughs> this? This looks weird. Giant bug. Is this, your, is this Lena's snack or something? Yum, yum, yum. Or maybe, well actually, maybe it's, uh, Lena's cocoon? Maybe she mentioned she was in a pupa, right? This is where she was birthed out of or something? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Can you use the glitch glasses here? No, it doesn't change anything. It looks the same. Weird. I don't know what this is. <laughs> what is that? Anyway. The dungeon, however, seems straightforward, I guess. I guess it's not supposed to be super hard. It's very straightforward, actually. You okay? Oh, the, the classroom. Is this your classroom? I thought this was just a corrupted memory. Something's wrong. This is all human-sized. Weird. Maybe Lena was human all along. Maybe the true lie... Was that she was a monster? I don't know. Yeah, it's from the very beginning of the game, and you know, you look at the desk to see what items you would give them in their monster's form to spare them. Smiley face. Yes. Oh my gosh, is this your bedroom? Are these your books? What kind of books do Archangels read? Maybe I should expand the library's horror section to attract more Archangel patrons. You just have a fetish for archangels? That's kind of weird. Also, everything's gray. Why is everything so gray? There's a fridge, though. That's where the scythe would have been, I guess. Gruesome horror novels. Mm. Let's jump on the bed.
No. We're gonna, gonna hit our heads if we jump on the bed. Do I do anything? No. Can I use my glitch glasses? Seems like the fridge is like a person or something. I don't know, that's weird. Um, trapped. Eight fridge. Deus, 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 Hex Machina. Deus, Is Deus, right? Oh no, my glasses. Archangel Lena, mother of archangels. Wait, that's just me. Danny, that's just me. Also, my uh, my thing's gone. But I have infinite bombs, I guess. That's kind of cool. I can't save, damn it. Uh, you know, can I? Well, I don't know if it matters, but can I, like, real quick call the pizza place? Can the pizza place even arrive here? Yes, I would like a pepperoni pizza, please. <laughs> I don't know if it can arrive here, of all places. Uh, uh, eh. Yeah, I can't. I don't have my glasses. I can't really do anything here. Can I? I guess I'm dead. Yeah. Nani. Ah. Eh. What was that? Ah. Hello. A stone. Even though it's a pizza, that's weird. Change later. Oh, that's me. Speaking to me directly. In your world, eight ridges. Known to be by another name. Mwah. Creepy, like. Also, everything is weird. Everything's like I don't know what you call it, but you know, it's when your like computer crashes or something, and all the windows get duplicated a million times. Is that is that kind of thing? Nah, everything's weird. I haven't like pay attention. I gotta like fill up. Oh no. I think I healed, right? I can't. I, I, I can't tell for sure. I don't know if I healed. Am I safe? I don't even know. Ah! What are you? What? Yeah. Yeah. Heal up again. Uh. You know what? Compassion. Elder was saved. Did I do it? I don't know if I did. Ah! Because I saw the compassion thing was... ...available. So there's a, there's a bunch of me's. Well, gotta keep that health potion up. I guess. Oh my, my healing potions. Actually, oh, do I have infinite actually? Oh, I have heal I have infinite healing potions. All right, that works. Because it's kind of glitch, right? So I have infinite of everything. Oh, so I just, I just have infinite of everything. In that case, I might as well defense tunic maybe, so that I'm not taking so much damage. But yeah, but yeah, heal up. I don't know how you're supposed to kill my own clones. How's this? How's this gonna work? We don't seem to be affected by much. Unless I'm supposed to change my shield, maybe? Like, if I change my shield, will they use different. Yeah, they use different. Hmm. Because when I equip the shield, they. Don't use it anymore. If I use, um, I don't know, but what if I use uh none? <laughs> you know, they have none now, and no items, maybe. Oh, oh, okay. They are okay. They do all die. Okay, that was that was a gimmick. Like you're supposed to unequip all your items so they can't attack anyone anymore, and then they just kill themselves. There's Lance though, I glitch Lance. Don't give up. Don't let it win, Lena. Hello? 
is weird. I'm over here now. Let's see, this is my, my Tana, my Spring Bat. Hello? I'm weird, okay? I'm swimming sometimes. I don't know wh where we are, even. Do I need to... I can't get rid of these bushes, you know? Eh, get rid of these bushes, nope. Eh. At least I have infinite healing, so that works. But I guess I didn't need to worry too much about saving up my healing potions for the... The fights after Delvin and everything. Because you just get infinite anyway. It's quite hectic, by the way. It's just. I don't know if there's any like particular strategy here. I can pick these up. Okay. That's weird. Yeah, hey, take that. Take that. Compassion. Oh, yeah. Lance was saved. I assume. Back to the Archangel School. Now I'm fighting my UI? Weird. Lance, you piece of garbage! That's kinda rude. First you kill my, uh, pupa? Pupa? Now you invade my home? Humans disgust me. I wish you would all just die. Rawr. Oh, I'm Lance again. Or, not again, but you know. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> How do I kill something that is using my own UI against me? I don't even have a UI. I don't know my, where my hearts are. Um, I guess put on a speed tunic again. I don't know if it matters. And maybe put on bombs? Like, the idea is like I'm triggering my own bomb or something? Somehow? Or maybe it's just losing its, yeah, maybe it's just losing its ability to attack just by attacking us in the first place. Uh, I don't know if it matters because I, I can't see my own health anymore, but maybe <laughs> I'll just heal. Yeah, it seems to be losing its uh, little barrier there just by attacking us in the first place, so. Oh, well, there's Lena. We're Lena, you know, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Attacks when we attack? Okay, this is a bit of a puzzle, just like the other gimmick fight. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do here. We're not doing damage to the thing. Okay, <laughs> just, that just hurts us. Um, bombs? Nope, I'm doing that. You know, by the way, I learned that... Oh, actually, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you pick up the bomb after it's on the ground, it actually it stays uh, inactive. But actually, it does, it does, I guess, eventually blow up. I didn't know that. Hmm. That doesn't seem to do anything. Unless I need to put the bomb just close. The bomb here, I'm gonna do this. I don't know if that... Does anything? Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't seem to do anything. Um. Fire? Not fire. Nope. Fire doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe if I use a silver shield? I don't even matter. I mean, silver shield is technically optional, though. I don't know. No, uh, okay. I was thinking, like, if I could reflect it somehow. That doesn't work. Hmm. My bombs in general don't seem to do anything. Uh, using the rope probably won't do anything either. Help me, someone. Whistle. No. 
Hello? Do I need to hit her flame maybe? Do I just need to leave? No. Leaving doesn't do anything. It just puts us in an infinite loop where we die. No! Stop it! I guess we're dead. What? What? I don't know what's going on. This is just weird. Huh? <laughs> I'm so confused. What's going on? Was that where you, were you just supposed to die there? Because I wasn't sure at all. I guess you were supposed to die there? I just kind of glitched out and then killed myself somehow. Alright. I, I, I was not clear at all what you were supposed to do with that. But anyway... I guess we're here now? We have all, we have, we have all, we have all the items we collected on the side quests. And here's the fridge. This is it. The cause of all our troubles. If I put the contents of the fridge back the way they were before it became 8 fridge, and remove the pizza that overflowed it in the first place, it may be anime. And finally find peace. Oh, yes, anime. The name of the world I put in. Hmm. Pizza! Free pizza for everybody. Wow. Pizza fixed everything. Amazing. Truly, he caused world peace by giving everyone infinite pizza. I hereby decree, pizza should be available to all regardless of how many limbs they have. Hooray! We did it. We did it, Tentelicious. Or Tentel... Tentelucus? I don't know how you say that. Pizza! Lena, I misjudged your kind. For that, I will be eternally sorry. Now, I really was planning to kill you all. Yes. I'm gonna kill you all right now. Hiya! Uh, no more plotting and killing will happen on my watch. And what Lance in the... I guess it makes sense. Because <laughs> of Link and Zelda. Anyway. I was pleased to hear you're reopening your school, Anna. And inviting human children, too. Will your students need any books? Yes, I could use an extra pair of hands now that I only have two. What do you think? Sounds wonderful. And let's make... Everyone's just gay in this game, I guess. I mean, that works out. With the glitches fixed and the Archangel hunger for pizza finally sated, Lena and Prince Daniel worked together to rebuild the Kingdom of Anime. Yes, <laughs> Kingdom of Anime. Integrating humans and Archangels proved challenging, but with compassion and fortitude and Lena's example, everyone came to realize that it was never too late to become a better person. You just have to, like, glitch the entire world first. With the wealth the two species shared and their healthy respect for truth, the peace that came lasted for a thousand years. Only a thousand though. Like a day after a thousand. That's when they started killing each other again. I guess that's just how it works. But there you go. That's the perfect ending. Bit of a hassle to get, to be honest. You can, I mean, I, I imagine most people miss the perfect ending. Because it's impossible to do it after if you've killed like one boss. So... You end up having to play the game again. Which is, you know, intended though, because of its like randomization features. You're supposed to like randomize a new world and everything and, you know, go through the game again. But I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I don't know. Like, overall, I think it's a pretty good game. But the fact that uh, I feel like. I don't know. The randomization. I guess, uh, didn't really have a big impact. I don't know, like, maybe it's for a certain type of peop uh, person. I, I do know that uh, certain Zelda games, I guess, they, or at least people have made mods, you know, to add ran randomized aspects to, like, Zelda games, especially the 2D ones, and that adds some val replay value to those games, I guess. But in it by itself, though, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it, because the dungeons still feel kind of the same. You progress the game the same way. Like, the only shuffle, like, the only randomization is just the locations that get shuffled, for the most part, right? It is pretty cool how the elements kind of, like, fit together, like, 
puzzle pieces. You know, like no matter how you progress in the game, the game knows when you'll get certain items, unless you somehow, I guess, break the game by uh, sequence breaking. But otherwise, if you go with the game normally, um, you get certain items, you know, that will go uh, allow you to progress through the main story in a logical way. You know, there's no way to accidentally, anyway, to like uh, break the game, at least not easily. So it's kind of cool how like, the randomization is smart like that. However, the randomization itself, it's like, I don't know, there's not much to it, right? Like, unlike uh, your typical roguelike game, where like you can get uh, very OP upgrades, I guess, and beat the game in five seconds. You know, I mean, the classic like Binding of Isaac, which I didn't really play myself, but you know, it's one of the games that made the roguelike genre pretty popular in the first place. The idea that you can so radically different types of items that make your character turn into something completely different. You make sort of like a build, right? That's the idea. So every run is kind of different. In Lena's Inception, however, every run kind of the same by the end, you know? You might find some extra items here and there, but mostly you get the same arrows, the same bombs, you know, same weapons, really. So there's just not much to it, you know? The story's all right, too. It's a little lighthearted, you know? It's, in fact, it's a little a little bit comedic, actually, which is fine. I kind of wish it was a little bit deeper, however, the story, because it seemed to utilize the whole, like, um, you know, the whole uh, fourth wall breaking, the world's glitching apart and everything. That's kind of cool. I wish it did more of that, actually. It was kind of cool at the end, where there's a lot of, like, little effects and everything, but it didn't really go beyond that, you know? It, it was just more of just an analogy for, like, some kind of dark magic corrupting the world you know any kind of like typical video game story i guess so i wish it did more of the fourth wall breaking you know i wish that was uh, at least you know it seemed like it was a big part of the story but in the end you know it's just like there's you know this little twist where lena was actually the final boss in the original game and you try to like bring the world back together at least in the first ending and of course the perfect ending you know everyone's happy and everything that's kind of cool but you know i there's i feel like there's other games that do it better is unfortunately I, I, I don't know again it's not a bad game it's just like uh, I kind of wish it focused on one or the other you know either it focused on the story and just had like everything pre-made like your typical video game except it focused more on the fourth wall breaking story and elements and mechanics to make it more interesting I guess the I mean the biggest thing would be the glitch classes I guess that would be the most interesting part even though I kind of got stuck in the final dungeon uh, for a long time my first playthrough I didn't really understand mechanics it was cool after you figure it out that you can like loop back different screens and everything so that's that's a cool mechanic um, but yeah either like focus more on that or made it more like I guess you're like typical roguelike you know make it more uh, focus on the roguelike elements maybe it would have made the game more popular i don't know because this game seems kind of obscure you know it's like i think you is the if, i'm not sure if you buy the game because to be honest i got it from itchio bundle but i think you buy this game actually yeah but it didn't really you know catch a lot of traction i feel like it kind of just went on to be a little bit obscure, which is unfortunate. I feel like if you're like, you know, if you're really like a Zelda fan, I feel like maybe you'll get more out of this game. It's really just, just it's just like an indie Zelda game. Pretty short comparatively to your typical Zelda game, but I feel like if you like Zelda, you know, this is kind of perfect for you. There you go. I guess those are my thoughts about it. And that is Inception. Kind of cool. I mean, I like it. I... About. Anything about it about? Developed by Bitten Studio? Correct me if I'm wrong, because I might be completely wrong, but I believe Bitten Studio are by the same people who worked on Starbound, I think? I might be making this up. Uh, but Starbound being like the sci fi version of Terraria. I don't know what happened to Starbound. It seemed pretty cool. It seemed like a, you know, basically a sci fi version of Terraria, but. I guess eventually it also kind of faded out from existence, but it was pretty popular when it came out too. So I'm surprised that this didn't get the same amount of popularity, however, you know? I don't know. Anyway, I guess... I don't know if I also want to say about the game. There's also an art style, by the way. I guess if there's at least one replay value, you can also switch the art style if you want as well. I believe that was the original intention of the game, to play the game on 8-bit, uh, 
I guess. But yeah, 8-bit is a little bit too old for me. I like 32-bit. I mean, I played 8-bit before. But, you know, basically on the Game Boy. I guess, does the NES count as 8-bit? I guess so. But very low. I mean, I have so... It's like so vague. I played the NES when I was like a baby, so I wouldn't really have much nostalgia about it. Um... What else? I mean, oh, well, there's one thing I wanted to say as well. You can also just play more of the game by doing daily seeds, I guess, and, you know, just in general, just playing the dungeons themselves. Again, similar to, like, Binding of Isaac, right? Or any kind of roguelike game. It's just the problem is that, um, there's just not much to it, you know? It's just you can, like, you know, it says here, like, for example, you beat the game without using a sword or whatever. Yeah, or I am error. I guess this one's, like, uh, the whole game is glitched. Reflex mode, everything's fast. For storm, I feel like storm mode is definitely. I feel like what most people play this game for. All the other modes, I feel like. I don't know, just not the mechanics. Not just not there. It's just not deep enough, you know. In order to make it uh, at least more consumable, is that the right word? Consumable by the general public. Again, if you're more like a hardcore Zelda player, maybe you know, like speedrunners in, in particular, who like the sequence break. Maybe you have more of a desire to do those modes, but not really for me, you know? I personally just always prefer doing like a main story of a video game. Anyway, I think I'm rambling too long. Let me just say, uh, that was it for Lennon's Session. Thanks for watching. And if you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch, so check me out over there if you're interested. And, uh, I also have other videos on my YouTube channel, so check me out over there as well. If you're interested too. Um, again, already said thanks for watching. I'll say it again. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.